they told me that they didn't they didn't hire any bus drivers, any females, so I wanted to know why. Why not? I was getting ready to um, file a lawsuit. I went back and asked them again, and they told me that they had gotten to my name on the register. I guess they thought about it, and then they, they said that um, they had gotten my name to the register. And when they got my name, of course, I was the only female on the register with a couple of other friends. They had to hire me then, so they hired me. It was six weeks of training, and they paid us $2 an hour, five days, 40 hours. When I got to the end of my six weeks, they hired me, and I worked at the Gilbert Terminal. I was the first female bus driver in Detroit, Michigan. And then, of course, then the gates were open for everybody because more, more women, uh, two or three women came early on, you know, behind me. I'm Mary Eatman, one of the first seven female bus drivers for DOT in Detroit. When I first became a bus driver in 1973, it really came at a good time. Affirmative action had just come out and women were able to get any job that they thought they could handle. And when I saw the first female bus driver, her name was Doris Walker, I did not realize that I would become one in that same year. When I first started in 1973, uh, the company was called DSR, which meant Detroit Street and Railway. Railway. Uh, but shortly after we started working, it became DOT. When we first started working, we had to wear the men clothing and the men hats because we didn't have it. Later on, they brought this little hat in for the women so we would look a little bit more feminine. It turned out it was a really good job. I often ask myself, I don't know how you could work a job that hard and that stressful and still come out in the end, you'd be pretty happy. With DDOT being one of the first seven female uh, women to drive the bus, and talking about promotions, the promotions was coming very fast, and I was the first, now I was the first on this, I wasn't the first bus driver, but I was the first woman to become a superintendent. Then women came behind me. We have many women superintendents and high leaders in, in the transportation system. I came on the job in 1973, and I retired in 1993. When I came in, they really didn't believe women could handle the bus. I worked out of Gilbert Terminal, which was off of Wabash, and some of the drivers were very reluctant to take us on as students. But there were those marvelous drivers that did believe that we could handle that bus. I loved going up the ladder. I became an instructor for DOT. I was a certified instructor, and that was the first also. I appreciate the opportunity that they gave me, and I would not change that for anything. And I met wonderful women on the job as well as men.